Hey guys and gals, Keith Best here. Just going to show you in this video um, how to add schema to your videos, like sort of this one here, and also how to add the schema to different videos. So that, like on this page here, which is your normal, you know, your home page, really. You know, it's not the best page in the world, uh, but this is just a test site. But as you can see, if I go over to this page here, video now changes. So obviously, as we know, Scheme is becoming more and more relevant um, for doing anything. And this, you know, what I'm going to show you now is, yeah, work for videos but it will also work for other things. I am using it for, like, sort of, you know, putting the GMB details in, you know, all that sort of stuff. So, first off, we'll go across to, yeah. And what we've got, I'll open this in Elementor first. So I never use, like when you have Elementor, you can pull in, you know, their video display sort of thing, you know, this bit here. I don't use that. Uh, I use, I'm talking on a bigger screen, that's what I've done with. I basically just use a text box. Okay. Standard text editor, and it's in there. Uh, now I'm going to put this code in a document and drop it into the file section of the Facebook group. Okay, with the relevant information for each one of these. Because as you can see, this is just a div at the top here, which basically just says how I want the, the video to be displayed. Okay. Obviously, you can play around with these figures if you want, and you know, make it how you want it. This bit here is down there. Here's your actual schema, okay? Which has got X fields in. That's so that I can control that using X fields. As you also know, it's because I have um, spin text on. I've got these actually in start, oh, sorry, end and start, okay? That's what that one and that one and anything in between do not get spun, otherwise it would mess it up. So don't forget is when you put that in, make sure you've got these, okay? So that, there always need to be set up in X field, which I'm gonna show you in a second. And of course, this bit here is just your bog standard iframe. The only difference with this is I've got all the details in as normal, but then I've got the actual video ID in as an X bit. Okay. So that's all there is to actual display it in the text field. That bit of code, that's it. It's not, you know, it's not rocket science, it's just that bit of code. It's like I say, I'll put it in and you can use it if you wish. So let's exit back out. Now this is me test site which I use for all sorts and which I was using for building the uh, themes out and things like that. So I've got a lot of X fields in. Um, obviously, the first main one is X field video ID, you need that one in. And we'll just do this one, this first, and then I'll go on to the location. You've got an X field video ID, which is just the end string at the end of like sort of your video. If I just pull. I'll just pull another screen across. Now, so as you can see, this here is your video ID. And that's all you need. After the B equals, that's your video ID. 
okay? And that is it. So then what we need is another eight fields. So here we go. So what you've got Okay, so your first one is your schema title. Let's go back in there. Nearly two, right. Okay, so in here, what we've got is schema title. Okay, so all that is is the actual title of your video. Next one is your schema description. And that is basically just a short description of the actual video itself. The next one is the schema thumbnail image. So this will already have when I put the file in, this will already be there beside it. All you will need to change is that bit here. And that's the video ID. Okay. This is the embed URL. So again, that's the only bit you need to change. This is the duration of the video. It needs to be in this format, so that's like sort of the other minutes. And that's the seconds. And that's the normal URL, so you can just drop the whole URL in there and then just take this off to populate the ones. This is this transcript for the video. So if it has a transcript and you actually have the text for it, then bang it in there, especially if it's got your keywords in for simple work numbers. Okay, so we'll put it in there. And this is the upload date. Now I don't care about the time, I'm above all that, but I do put the actual correct date in. Okay? And that's it. Like I say, I'll have these in a document with like sort of you know, especially for like sort of these ones, I'll have the format and text beside them so that all you need to do is copy it in and then change it as you need to. Okay? So, how do we get a different video onto a different page? Well, that's by using another powerful thing of MPP, which is locations. So we come down here and we've got a location. I set this up as Piemont. Now, let's have a look. We'll set another one to make it easy for you. So, let's have a look. Let's go into one more here. Right, we'll try home is not. Okay, home is not. So all you do, new location set, pure the name. Okay. One mile. So basically I just go one mile from home is not. I want um this to happen, so I'll just do if you should find it, come with not one mile number of locations. I'll go to five, save it now. View locations, right? So, none of my actual. Other ones that I've got are in this location. Look at the location there, I don't know if I have it. So, if I now do edit, so I've already got PMOD in there, so add a custom location and value. If I go down here and copy home with not, Paste that in, and then what I need is another video. It's two seconds while I grab one. Uh, one 
Pretty much. Okay, so that's in. Let's save it. Okay. So, by now going to home is not. You should see a completely different video. Yeah. Which is that one. Okay. So we've got the different video on. So I can say to do the schema, all you would do is find out where it is and just do one, two, three. Seven, eight, okay. Not. Copy that. Okay, so just add a custom location. Do that. So let me into a scheme and title. So this is absolutely nothing whatsoever to do with the thing. Just put that in. Um, so you can see it's different. That's a different field. Save okay, that one. Save so that one. Okay, so now I want, if I do copy that and put it in there. Copy that and put it in there. In there and then come over here. Put that one so it's in front of not. Put that in front of not. And that's in front of not. And then the time. Copy that, and the time is 6.18. Change that. Video <coughs> transcript, save that one. Saved. All that saved. All that saved. So be at that one. Okay. So we come back here then. If I take this home is not copy. Stick it in there. Copy that. Copy 
should see the video. It's to come up. There we go. Video object. Video object. Let's see. We're record dive. We're record dive. EU2, which was the video. Okay. Yep, that's that one. Now, if I go to here, one. Copy that, go to there. This one should be Fred Dibner, I think. Yep, Fred Dibner, Fred Dibner. Fred Dibner's one, which is the F04. And then if I go to the home page, oh, I go to any other page. Um, Cocked in the Zoom, we've got down. A different one, yep, Dalek, I've got the one first. Video object, rope traders, do, 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 do. it's actually video schema done. Like I say, these ones, so the locations here, so if I pick Murray Bent, that one's going to show me Fred Digner. Just to prove it, I will do it there. Yeah. Oh no, it's a diving one, isn't it? That home is not. Yeah. That's a diving one. That's a good diving one. And it's a diving one there. So there you go. Nice and simple. Bit of a schema added, and like I say, this can be added to anything. You can use them locations to actually do anything. There, uh, it's your know, think about it, think outside the box. You can use the XFails for tons and tons and tons of things, and I do. Yeah, uh, I love it. I love the XFails, and I love these location sets. All right, hope it's been helpful. Speak to you soon. Bye.